My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. In this lesson, we will see how we can install and set up Power Automate Desktop and we will create your first flow. So let's get started. Navigate to office.com and then in the upper right corner, click sign in. If you haven't got a Microsoft account, then create one. Then log in with your credentials. Click sign in. I choose to stay signed in, so I click yes here, which will take you to the office front page. Navigate to the Power Automate logo down here and open it. What you have been taken to here is the Power Automate web app. However, that won't help us here. So click create, then click the UI flow. Choose the Power Automate desktop, then click next. Here we can give the flow a name that doesn't mean a thing. So I can just call it whatever I want and then I can click launch app. Then this window will open up. Choose get the app. The setup file will download here in the lower left corner. When the file is downloaded, then click to open it. We will choose to install both packages. That is the UI flows and the Power Automate desktop. Then we'll click next. Here we will install all the browser extensions and shortcut, and we will accept the TOC from Microsoft. Then we'll click install. The installation was successful. Now we need to enable the extension that we want. I will recommend you to enable all the extensions. However, as an RPA developer, I'll give you the advice to always automate in Google Chrome as it is now, because that's the most stable browser, even though this is a Microsoft product. So we'll choose the Google Chrome here. And in the Google Chrome web shop, we will enable it. Click the add extension. That's it. And for the Power Automate as well, That's it. Then we can go back and launch Power Automate Desktop. Here we can create our flows. That is also where our flows will be stored in a list over here, but we will click new flow. Give the flow an appropriate name. This could be our first Power Automate Desktop flow. Then click create. The editor will open in a few seconds. This is Power Automate Desktop. And if you think it looks a little bit like Win Automation, you're right. Microsoft acquired Soft Emotive, which produced Win Automation. So this is basically a Win Automation makeover. However, I think it will be very good. Here you have the actions. The canvas is here. That's where our automation plan is. And we have the variables and the UI section over here. Look at the actions. Here we have folders that we can expand. For example, web automation, we can launch new browsers, we can click on things, we can choose the Excel actions. Here we can launch a new Excel, try to drag that in. We will launch a new blank document and make it visible, then just click save. Then we will click run. And you have created your first workflow. We can go down to Excel here and see that we indeed have opened a blank Excel. Let's close that again. This is our workflow. So if we drag something else in, that could be close Excel, then click Save. We take from the top to the bottom. That is, we take the first action first and then the second one. We can click Run here. This is not a very interesting flow because this will just launch Excel and close Excel. Like this. Nothing really happened. Maybe you saw a little glance down here. So let's delete these. Just mark them and click delete. And let's create a meaningful flow, or at least somewhat meaningful. We will open up the calculator and do a calculation. So first, search for a run application. That is under system, so drag it in. We will need the application path and achieve a little bit and found it here, that's the calculator. So shift right click, copy as path. Then we go back and simply just paste in the path and remove the quotation marks like this. The other parameters we will leave as they are, so click save. We could also choose to drag in some log files. So we'll choose a display dialog. Drag one in here in the beginning. You could give the message box a title that is log. 
And here we can just say something like our first Power Automate desktop opening. Then we'll click Save. What this does is that it pops up a message box. Then the user needs to click OK before the flow continues. It will give us the advantages that we can see what's going on. So let's mark this, Control C, or click the three dots here and choose Copy, because we will copy this. Then we will paste it in, Control V. We can see that we pasted it in here in the middle. However, let's drag it to the bottom. So just take it in and drag it down. This is our closing log message, so open it. We will modify it a bit, we will just say closing. Then we'll click save. So now we have a log message. We open up the calculator and another log message. That's our flow, so click run. While we run it, remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the new Power Automate desktop videos. Here we have our log message, click OK. We ran the application, that's here. And we have our closing log message that's here. So we click OK and the flow is done. Now we need to do some calculations on the calculator. So go to UI automation, expand that. Choose the click UI element in window, drag it underneath the run application. We need to specify a UI element in the parameters. If we click the drop down, we can see that we have no UI elements to display. That's fine, that's because we haven't created one. So we choose to add a new UI element. Click here. Here you can see that we can find all the UI elements, that is the .NET selectors that we can click on here. Let's do a simple calculation. So let's take the two plus two. And let me drag this tracking session down. So if you click here, nothing will happen. But what you need to do is to press the control and left click, that is the two. You can see that the button two is created over here. We can click done, or we could choose some other elements. We will need the plus sign as well. So press control, plus. We will also have a equal to. So do the same thing here, control, left click. Now we have our selectors. Then we'll click done. Here, and the click type is left click, that's fine. Then we'll click save. However, we created all our UI elements in once. So we open up the click UI element again. In the UI element, we can specify what to click on. Right now, we click on the equals. We want to click on the two first. Then we'll click select. Click save. And we will need some other click UI elements. So drag in another click UI element. Choose the plus here. Then we'll click select. Click save. Drag in another one here. Now we need to have a two once more because we want to add two plus two. So simply just choose the two here, click save. Then the final one, that's the equal sign. Like this. Now we have created our calculation. So click run. The log message is on, click OK. Two plus two equals four. That's it. That's how easy it is to automate your desktop. In the coming lessons, we will look at more advanced workflows. But let's see how we can implement this simple little workflow in Power Automate web application. So we'll click OK to finish it here. Then we'll click Save. By the way, if you really want to help me and think this video is good, please give the video a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. Then we'll click OK. Now we can navigate back to Power Automate web app. So let me close this one down here, we will just choose a new instant flow. We will manually trigger the flow, and here we can say our first UI flow, all Power Automate desktop flow, call it whatever you want. Then we'll click Create. We will just add one step, so click New Step. Then we can search for Run. And here you can see Run a flow built by Power Automate Desktop Preview. We will need to have a domain and username. Mine pops up here. If you doesn't, then go down to start, press CMD. Let me drag this in. Type in who am I, and you'll get the domain and username. Just copy paste it in here. Then you'll need to type in your Windows password. Now we just need to create a new gateway if you haven't created one, so click new gateway. 
The gateway installer will download here in the lower left corner. Having installed the gateway, we now click on it. Accept and click install. Choose to accept if Windows asks you about any permissions. Here we need to put our email address in, so let's do that. Then we'll click sign in. Let me drag it down, choose the account, paste in the password and sign in. We'll choose to register a new gateway on this computer. Click next. We will give it a name, I'll just call my Anders. A recovery key is needed. Then we'll click configure. I don't like to send usage information. Untick this, you can tick it if you want. Then we'll click close. Here we can select our gateway. Then we'll click create. That's it. Now we can find our UI flow that we just created. So click the drop down here. Mine was our first Power Automate desktop flow. Then we can choose an attended or unattended. We will choose the attended. You haven't got the license for the unattended, most likely. Like this. Then we can click save. And now we can test it. So basically what this does is now we can start up Power Automate desktop flows from our Power Automate web app. Click test. I'll perform the trigger action. Click test. We will click continue. Then we'll click run flow. And we'll click done. So here our log message has opened. We click OK. In a few seconds, the calculator will open like this. And the final log message is here. Then we'll click OK. That's how easy it is. Click the video to the left to watch the next Power Automate desktop lesson. Or click the video to the right to watch a beginner's tutorial of the Power Automate web app. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you liked it.